and his tribe is part of him. But of course, that, that tribe over the hill there, they're no part of him. Each step as we grow larger, we find ourselves are somewhat larger than we thought. Look out, squirrel. Be the visual. Now, there it is, up there ahead where the trees stop. The rest of you, all but wolf, better stay back here now. There's a girl at the top of the drive. Hello, Anna. Oh. oh, hush now. No need to be scared. Who are you? How do you know my name? Police chief in town told me. What's frightening you, girl? Nothing. I mean, I'm not frightened. What makes you think I am? Of course I'm not frightened. You, you startled me, that's all, coming up behind me that way. What do you want? I've come to look at where the meteorite fell. Well, I, I don't know. You, you didn't phone from town or write. You could be anybody. You haven't even told me your name. It's Ethan. Ethan what? And, and that enormous dog of yours, does he bite? Just Ethan will do. And he's not a dog. He's a wolf. A wolf? Shh, easy now, easy. He won't hurt but you. But he's a wolf. Give me your hands. Give you my... No, why should I? Your hands. Oh. Easy, easy now. Just hold on to my hands. <laughs> now just hold on. Look at me, Anna. Look up at my eyes. Why are you so afraid? What's frightening you? Look at me, Anna. You can tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just so scared. Oh, help me. Help me, please. Mr. Langwin. Oh, here you are, right in the living room. Mr. Langwin, this is Ethan. He's come here to look at the meteorite, too. Well, how do you do, Mr. Ethan, was it? Just Ethan will do, friend. And this is his wolf, but he doesn't bite. Well, I'll have to get supper started. So you like animals as well as meteorites, uh, Ethan? I like everything, friend. Well, now, that's a very decent attitude. I wish I had a little more of the milk of universal charity in my own breast. But I'm rather the, the sour bachelor type. You're not a science writer? No. Good. I can't stand them. They like to play with the facts too much. Geologist? Astronomist? Chemist? Not in particular. All right. I'll cease my prying. Care to examine the area now, before dinner? I think I would. Well, come along then. It's just down the hill from the house here. That's a large chunk of nickel iron, friend. I see you've been excavating around it. It went in on a slant higher up on the hill, which is why it's this close to the surface here. And I've been keeping it pretty much to myself. Pure luck I happened to hear about it. I just happened to be passing through. And I had hopes of giving it a good going over myself before anyone else with training came along. Of course, now you're here... I'm not interested in poaching on your preserves, friend. That's good of you. You just want to look it over, is that it? Of course, if it is, I shan't mind the company a bit. Anna, poor girl, is still pretty shaken up from her parents' death even after four months. They got hit by the meteorite? Actually, by the shockwave, it seems. Fantastic, isn't it? Not a mark on them. They were walking up the hill, coming back from a visit to the neighbors. By the way, we'd better be heading back, shouldn't we? I imagine dinner's about ready. Listen to those birds. I've never heard so many of them around here before. Uh, pardon me, Ethan. I'm just going to walk in front of you here, and your wolf friend can bring up the rear. I don't think he likes me. Pets aren't natural. 
aren't friends, aren't pets. You know, Ethan, I wonder about you. I wonder about you too, friend. One of the characteristics of a true savage is that while he thinks that he is only what's inside his skin, he has the conviction that all the world belongs to him. It's his, just all he has to do is take it. He hasn't gotten around to it yet. Now, this philosophy of the true savage has nothing to do with his intelligence. And it has nothing to do with his technical ability. It has nothing to do with his smartness. It has to do with his utter lack of wisdom. No. No, please don't hurt them. Mama, Daddy. What's that? Who's there? Yes, girl, it's me. Now I'll let you go and don't you scream. Oh, Ethan, I was dreaming. What are you doing here in my room? I have to talk to you about the meteorite. Oh, no. No, please, I don't know anything about it. I don't want to talk about it. Now, now, easy. You haven't anything to worry about. I'm right here with you. Nothing's going to get at you when I'm along. Oh, Ethan. You know you're safe with me, don't you, Anna? Now look at me. You feel safe now, don't you? Oh, yes, yes. Whenever you get scared, you just hang on to me. You'll be all right again. You promise me that? I promise. All right, then, now. I'll get up and get dressed. We're going to the meteorite. Oh, no! Steady now. Steady. Careful now. Don't get under her feet, Wolf. Oh, you can please. Hold on to me, Anna. Give me your hand. Now, do you feel better? Yes, a little. All right. Here we are. Oh, what, what do you want me to do? You know what to do. Don't you, Anna? I don't. I don't. Please don't make me. We have to, Anna, for the good of everybody. You see, I know a lot already about this. Even the parts you aren't free to tell anyone else about. Even the parts you won't admit to yourself. There's nothing, nothing. Yes, there is, Anna. Your folks weren't killed by the meteorite, were they, Anna? And it isn't really a meteorite at all, is it? <laughs> oh, poor Anna. Caught up in something that isn't her fault at all. You see, Anna, it can't be a meteorite. Because a nickel iron chunk that large would have made such a small crater on impact. What did he make you do, Anna? <laughs> Hold tight to my hand. He made me bring them. Mom and Daddy. And then he took... Hush. That's all right, then. Now I know. And now, Anna, let's open it up. No, I can't. He told you that you can't. But you can, can't you? When he took over your mind and made you bring your folks to him, you became part of him. You are him. And that's what's hurting you so, isn't it, Anna? Oh, yes. Always, always. I can't get away from it. But I cut you loose, don't I? When you hold my hand, he can't see through your eyes anymore, or hear through your ears, or feel through your fingers. Yes, yes, don't let go. I won't. Now we have to open up this meteorite, this ship, so I can get inside and wreck it, so he can't take off again. We have to hurry, Anna, because he misses you, even in his sleep, when he can't feel you in his mind. Now try it. All right. You hold one hand, and I can reach it with the other like this, and... Reach in and turn the thing. It's open enough to let me in now. Run, Anna. Run quick. Wolf, go with her and see that she's safe. All the way, Anna, to the nearest neighbor. Run! Run! Anna! Anna! What are you doing? Where are you going? Anna, come back here! Anna! Anna! Joe! Edna! Let me in! Oh, 
Wake up, wake up, please, it's Anna. Let me in, let me in, quick. Oh, please let me in, won't you let me in? He's coming after me. Help me, please. Help, Anna. Help me, Ethan. No, no, I won't come back to you. I won't, I won't. No, I won't come back. Oh. What's that? Who's out there? <gasps> Mama. Look, Mama, on our doorstep. <laughs> child, all around two, three years old, uh, truly is a savage. You see, just as the human race had to grow up over tens of thousands of years, so each of us as an individual has to grow up through all the stages of being a savage, a barbarian, a tribesman. That's what your adolescent kids are. They like to run in tribes. And so on to our full adulthood. I a small child is a savage. And this we can endure because, after all, he isn't very powerful. The problem comes when you have someone who is very powerful and still a savage. I guess that does it. I hate to spoil something as fine as this, but there's no time, no time. How right you are, Ethan. Turn around. So there you are now. I pretty well fixed your ship for you. Thanks. I'll return the compliment. I fixed your Anna for you. Did you think she could make herself safe just by putting a little distance between my mind and hers? She was always mine, to kill or to keep. It hurts me to hear that. I believe it does. I admit I don't understand you, Ethan. When you first walked onto this place, I had a minute of high hopes for you. You forget, friend. I'm just as human as the rest of them. Are you? Or do you just wish you were? You're a freak human, Ethan. A sport, a mutation. You had to identify yourself with this species because there was nothing better available. Like your people? We're more like you than they are. You'd go back and bring in more of your kind? Perhaps. This Earth would be my property now. Its living space is valuable. Its continents, its oceans, its rocks and soil are valuable. Even its various life forms are valuable. Well, there, you see. I couldn't let you do that. Because of this warped concern of yours for the things that live here? The word you want is love. Why should you love them? Why should I fail to love them? They love back. Their love, even of the litless ones, warms me like a fire in the cold woods at night. You said I was an outcast. How wrong, how wrong you are. I can't argue with an insane personality. I've given you your chance. You don't understand. This very element of love that you don't comprehend, that is what will defeat you in the end. Ah, you are insane. No. You will take without paying and kill without counting. And in the end, they'll pull you down. But when you kill, sooner or later, you'll kill someone deeply loved. And you kill a thing that's loved. Then look behind you, for retribution will be there. I'm wasting time. No, don't move. I don't need weapons for the common herd, but for you, feel honored. You have to do better than that. Die, blast you! Try again. I never thought... Get rid of him. Bury him back in among the trees here. Imagine he'd like that. <laughs> Did I say that? Odd. I can't feel strongly toward him, even now. 
he had something, no doubt about it. Given training, he might even... It is a lonely life, this world hunting. And when you get it, you wonder. This will do. Dig the grave. Dump him in and cover him up. Back to the ship and close it up. There'll be stuff to salvage. Forrest is certainly busy tonight. I never heard it like this before. Where did they all come from? Why didn't I bring the weapon? These things have a brain to respond to my enforce. Get away from me! Get out! What happened? They've gone. I'll get back to the ship. What was that? Something? What did he say? That part about love? What, what, what was it? If you kill something that's loved, then... then look behind you. Behind me! No! savage. He'd grown considerably bigger than that, and he was quite aware that he extended far beyond his skin. Now, you know, if you step on a man's toe, it isn't his toe that slugs you. Uh, stepping on Ethan was far less than sufficient to stop all of Ethan. <laughs> 